We reviewed the Sony Xperia Z1 a few months back, and we just got done taking a look at the T-Mobile USA variant, the Z1S. Now, thanks to Clove Technology, we're taking a gander at a smaller device, but one very much in the same vein. Let's unbox the Z1 Compact. I mentioned Clove Technology in the intro, folks, and I'll do it again. This device comes to us from Clove Technology. It is a loner. If you have a desire to pick up a Z1 Compact yourself, head on over to Clove's website, linked in the description below, and pick one up. We thank them for the courtesy of this demo loner. So here's the box of the Z1 Compact. We saw this device at CES 2014, where Sony was... Um, kind of touting it as a no-compromise device, meaning it's smaller, yes, but it shouldn't have any fewer features than the Z1. Well, let's find out. We'll take the box top right off of there, and there's the device occupying a very small portion of the acreage here. We take it out, and my immediate impressions are, yes, indeed, it does have a small footprint, but uh, it ain't all that slim. Let's get back to that in a second. Let's just see what's in the box. Looks like we might have some sort of um, chamois here. Is this a... Is this a device protector? What are we doing here? What's, what's actually happening with this? Use scraper to remove air bubble. Yes, indeed. This is a packaged uh, device protector, a screen protector. That's pretty cool, along with a cleaning cloth so that you don't get any dust bubbles underneath there. What else is included here? This is a power adapter. This is a USB cable. Move those aside to find, hey -o, headphones included. We don't know uh, well, I shouldn't say we. I don't know whether the Sony headphones are any good, but anytime we see earbuds included in a box, yes, they're free for a reason. They are seldom uh, huge and awesome at acoustic quality, but it's a great, great value add that the carriers often take away. So this is a good reason to get devices unlocked if you can afford it. There's just some extra buds and a clip, a lapel clip it looks like, and a micro USB to USB adapter included as well. Another nice touch. And then we have all our literature as well, which we will not go too far into, but all the stuff you expect to see, SAR information for uh, radiation concerned, startup guide, warranty information, safety operation stuff. So sliding the phone from its protective pouch here, we can see that we have some protectors to peel off. That's gonna be nice. And I'll tell you that though this thing only weighs 137 grams, because it does have such a small footprint, it uh, feels heavier than it is. And when I say small footprint, uh, some readers have asked us to bring back our old quick size comparisons in the unboxings, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Alongside the Moto X, the difference is, well, not that much at all. In fact, they're very, very close to the same size, the Moto X being a smartphone on the smaller side of the spectrum. But next to a Lumia 1020, you can see the Z1 Compact is substantially smaller. Next to the iPhone 5C, it is actually a tad larger. The 5C, all the iPhones are pretty small as far as devices go. And next to the Nexus 5, once again, a little on the smaller side. We're looking at an angle there, so maybe that's a little deceptive. We'll bring this back up. And yeah, you can really see the, the difference there. The F Nexus 5 can't fit in the frame at this point, whereas the Z1 Compact is actually quite small. Put it in the palm of your hand, and it's, it's quite a nice little fit, and, and it's comfy. And even though our poor Z1S is laid up for repair right now, we can use it for a size comparison, and bam, you can see, once again, a significant size difference. They call this thing the Compact for a very good reason. It is thicker, but it is also uh, much smaller on the face. Now it's time for the traditional screen peel. We'll go ahead and pull the screen protector off. Very nice. And while we're down here, we'll mention that the display is a 4.3 inch 720p panel using different display technology, still branded as a triluminous display, but uh, side visibility should be better if I'm remembering right from CES. And let's take the back protector off here as well. And while we're around back here, I'll also tell you that the camera up here is 20.7 megapixels, same resolution, same hardware, in fact, according to Sony, as found on the Z1S, which we just did a camera test with. So we're looking forward to testing this one out as well. That's controlled by a hardware camera key down here, volume key, pronounced power standby button on the right-hand side. We'll flip it back around to the front, bring the zoom out so we can see the thing, and then we'll power her on for the first time. Press and hold. I can already tell you that the responsiveness of this key, the mechanical travel, the click, is uh, way better than it was on the somewhat mushy Z1S. There's our headphone jack up front, uh, up top rather. Sorry about the uh, out of focus. We got a pretty tight shot here. And there goes that display. Ooh, those colors 
Those colors are just gorgeous, I gotta tell you. And a word on durability here, this device is rated to IP55 and IP58 for immersion resistance. That means uh, water and dust proof to an extent. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a future feature. As long as these hatches on the sides are closed. This one is for the SIM card. This one here is for the micro SD card. So I got my finger in the wrong thing there. Uh, for the micro SD card slot. And then we have finally uh, micro USB for charging and data sync. So you want to make sure all those hatches are closed if you do immerse this device. It's time to select our language and to get this device set up, folks. So while we get to know our new review phone, we hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact and its box contents. And once again, unlike our abbreviated look at the Z1S, we are giving the Z1 Compact a full review. So stay tuned for that, as well as some comparisons and some features coming up in the days ahead. Check out the link in the description below if you want to get a Z1 Compact of your own. You can get that from Clove Technology. Also down in that description, a like button. Please press it if you enjoyed this unboxing, and leave a comment down below if there's something specific you want to see in our Z1 Compact review. We will do our very best to get that in there for you. I've been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Follow us on social media so you don't miss future content. But most importantly, thank you, as always, for watching. We'll see you very soon.